Yeah. But I would love like a shirt like this or shirt like, with just like a little uh, pin, yeah. just so I can put my pin in. Oh yeah. Because my pins don't leak. Yeah. But I don't like the pin. And I'm like, well, it's not it's, your shirt. That's yeah, right. Uh, is that an unstructured? No, it's just a charcoal flannel. It's not. Get ready. The guys that will put your fears behind you are on the air now. Oh, You're I probably... Oh, are we live? Yeah, we're live on Facebook. Live on Facebook. Live on Facebook. Live on Facebook. Morning, Facebook, right, stand, folks. Stand by, guys. Yeah, stand by. Three, two... Hot mics, hot mic. Hey, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Right Path Real Estate Radio, 713-785-1817. You got JB and Tom Perry in the house. So... Uh, Jason, you went on a little bit of a rant yesterday. Uh, I'm going to warn you guys. We're probably going to send it no out. No potty mouth. Yeah, yeah no, no potty. Mom I did. calls it potty, t- yeah. potty talk. No potty talk. I, I loved it when you go, hey, mom, you might want to tune off. Yeah, this is Can- not going to be the show mom needs to listen to. Or the, or the Facebook Hey, live. before we get into the to that, yeah. though, because I, I just saw you put the, you've got a, got a brand new uh, electronic device sitting on your... I do have a Samsung phone. Samsung Note 8? That is the Note 8. So, welcome to the dark side. It is, I gotta tell you, it is pretty darn I've sweet. been saying for a long time that the only real phone out there <laughs> is the Samsung Note 8. You know, I, I flipped over in the developer mode, which is actually easy to get into, <laughs> right. on these, as opposed to the iPhone where they keep yeah, you, it in child you mode You can't get the in there, right. It's always in child but, mode. But uh, it was amazing. When I just hooked up the Bluetooth to the truck... It started reading text messages too. Like my truck has all this cool stuff. Yeah, right. That I couldn't really get to work right with the iPhone, mm-hmm. uh, and my truck also has the QI wireless charging technology. You just throw it on the oh, console yeah, yeah, yeah. and it just and charges it, it right up, and, and it uses that. Yeah, and it just man, it was. It just all works. It all it works like it's supposed to. Yeah, but the iPhone. Yeah, it's it's definitely you know it's 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 the phone for children versus the phone for adults. Well, I'll tell you the difference is if you have. An iPhone, an iPad, a MacBook, all that stuff, and it's all integrated. It works great. But I don't use a lot of that stuff anymore. I've just got my, you know, we now use these Surface Pros, which are fantastic. Yeah, love the Surface Pro. Uh, and then, of course, we use these phones. Even so though it's like, Microsoft, still love it. It's Yeah, it's <laughs> not, not a huge fan of Microsoft, but they're kind of ubiquitous. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's not it's not bad for right. what... Right. For what it is. So anyways, yes, I do have a Samsung phone. I know it's big news in Houston real estate. Right. <laughs> All right, so back so, to your rant. So back to my rant. So I've been talking to a number of folks over the last couple of weeks and about real estate investing. <clears throat> and I realize for this show, if you're just hearing us for the first time, this isn't going to make a lot of sense. But we well, probably ought to tell our background just to the start of the story. Yeah, go J- ahead. J- yeah. Jason and I, we started Houston House Buyers July of 2013. So since then, bought... It's a rough count, just estimating. You and I, not what our students have done, not because that's how a lot of gurus count is yeah. you know how many of their students have done, but just you and I have done about 450 houses, mostly buy, fix, and flip, about 80, 75, 80% of that. 75% has been buy, fix, and flip, maybe 20% wholesale, mm-hmm. and we have a, a small buy and hold portfolio. We want That's the part of our <clears throat> portfolio that's going to grow the biggest next year. I'll tell you what, I got introduced uh, a couple of months ago by a gentleman who's been in real estate, single family real estate for 20 years. And he introduced he introduced me as the largest single family home buyer in the United independent single family home buyer in the US. And I'm like, "Well, hold on there. I'll take the accolades. I just I don't know if that's entirely true." Well, what's but we're interesting certainly to me, one like, of the largest in the city. There we're going to be on a panel of of other quote unquote gurus in town, yes. right? A little face off. And there's one guy on there that claims to he's been doing it since you know, the 80s or something like that. He claims to have done 2,000 houses. And I'm like, there's just man, it is, just, it is so rare to find people that are telling tr- the truth in the real estate investing marketplace. Mm-hmm. There's only one guy that I know that's even approaching that. I mean, y- y- you know. Yeah, he's down it, in San Antonio. Oh, there's one guy in San Antonio and one in here in Houston. Right, but the guy in San Antonio, he's done about a little over 1,000, right? I mean, mm-hmm. we know that number. And then, there, then the guy in Houston that's been doing it, you know, for 16, 17 years. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, you know he's out there. This other guy, uh, not so much. You know what's amazing is, it's and this was part of my rant yesterday, people spend so much money on real estate education and they immediately go back to, well, the education didn't work. And I, I look at somebody and I say, look, did you ask the speaker, the guy who's selling you the education, if they really do it? Yeah. Because it's not hard to find. Real estate is 100% public. Yes. You could search by our LLC and you'll find us. Yeah. 
I mean, it's not that hard. No, right? right? Yeah. Uh, you could call the t- ask ask them. Hey, what title company do you close? Absolutely, at? yeah. If you called up the title company, I mean, you know, Ashley is one of our radio show sponsors. You could call up when he's on the show and just say, "Hey, are these guys really do deals." I mean, title company's going to know, and we can tell you the title company we use, and you can check us out. And then and then they can call the receptionist yeah. of the title company and go, "Hey, have you guys heard of Houston House Buyers?" And they're like, "Yeah, which closing team do you want? <laughs> yeah. Which file?" I mean, yeah. literally, they get. We've got a, a whole closing team over there just for our files. So right. it's like it's it's yeah, not we're, hard to we're team out. two. We are team yeah, two. We yeah. are te- team two. Which I have to admit, I think that was one of the things we talked about doing with them years yeah, ago. Was right? Like, Can you put us in a team so everyone ha- like shares email and stuff? Yeah. And they said, yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. So yes, we are team two. Right. But um, in any case, it's not hard to figure out. So I I was chatting with some folks over the last couple of weeks and. I was t- and this my rant was not directed towards anyone. You guys can go to my personal Facebook page and look at it. It was not. It's I, I listened to it last night. It's public. Yeah. But I'll tell you, it's not safe for work and it's not safe for kids. So don't listen to it when the kids are around. Yeah. But it is a shocking message to those of you who keep going to real estate classes. Like Oh, I'm going to the wholesale training this weekend. I'm going to this training. I'm going to that training. And and then these are the same people who complain to me that, A, they don't have any money because they spend it all on real estate education, and B, they don't have any time because all they're doing is spending their time getting educated. I'm like, well, whose fault is that? Yeah, right. Yeah, we, we literally tell people that are in our in our base camp that, like, hey, if you've got follow-up phone calls to make that you like, remember the guy he had like nine follow-up phone calls. Like, look, you're leaving the coaching class right now, and I'm you're kicking good. you out of my class. Yeah, because right the most important thing that you could be doing is buying houses, setting yeah. up appointments to go buy houses. There's I, no. I, I made the comment last night. Uh, I did it on the webinar too. There are some people who spend more time in real estate education classes than I do teaching them. Yeah, right. And I get paid to teach them. Right. right. It just, guys, look, here's the deal. You don't need a mentor. You don't need a coach. You need a trainer. You know what a trainer does? So my wife's been doing this CrossFit thing. And on the whiteboard, every day. The wad. Well, it's, it's the workout. But on the whiteboard every day, they write down all of... All of the folks who've gone through and done that workout for the day, they, yeah. they write down what they've done and how fast they've done it. Yeah, it's the time. They yeah. are. So here's the deal. If you're buying real estate education, if you're working with a real estate educator that's not measuring you, how are they helping? Because a trainer says, all right, hey, Tom, you want to get fit? Yeah. Go do some push-ups. Go do some push-ups. Yeah. Right? You need to do 100 push-ups today. Oh, and don't forget the sit-ups. Yeah, I'm going to do some sit-ups. By the way, what are but you can, eating? Can, can I do that at home? Yeah, I mean, you can do it at home if you want, but the reality is you still got to do the push-ups, right? But the reality is most people won't do it. That's right. Left to their own device, even if you know how to do a proper sit-up and even if you know how to do a proper push-up, right. most people will not push away from the table and go do it at home. So here's our here's the second part of this job as your real estate trainer. I'm not going to put up with your BS excuses. Yeah. When you come in for training and you tell me, Oh, yeah, so I'm paying you to be a trainer. Uh, I'm not losing any weight, and I'm not getting more fit. And then I'll say, well, did you do those 20 push-ups I told you to do? Yeah. No, I didn't do them. Have you cut fat out of your diet? Have you cut sweets out of your diet? Have you? (laughs) Yeah. Sarah and I are training right now for some cycling events we're going to do in the spring. We're going to start training now. It's going to be real simple. Hey, do we do our 20-mile rides starting in the the winter? Do we do a 40? Do we do 60? Do we do 80 miles? Have we done a century before? I mean, it's like, it's real simple. And you know what? Going to classes on how to do a proper push-up is not going to help you lose weight. So I know you have an MBA. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure everybody that goes and gets an MBA, they, they, they're they instantly successful, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so in that, I mean, real estate education today should be like the, the very industry-specific MBA version mm-hmm. of how to work within that industry, but most of the time it's not that way. No. Actually, you know, it's kind of funny. One of our, one of our students grabbed me one time, and he said, you know, they, they were trying to explain how we're different than everybody else because he's in a lot of the same groups we were. And he said, it's kind of like going to undergrad, where you sign up for all your, you know, take a lot of groups, yeah, right? a, a lot of classes that aren't directly related to your major, right. right? And he said, working with you guys in Right Path is like 
is like an apprenticeship. Mm. Like it's it's how you get. He's an engineer, right? So he's like, it's like you go to engineering school, you go to undergrad. Yeah, you got to take school. Texas history in yeah, Texas. Yeah, he, he said, right. and then you get out and you get into the real world, and then you're really working on your PE at that point, right? Your, sure, your professional engineering designation. And he said, when you're get when you're when you get into that realm, it's the real like nuts and bolts. How does this apply in the real world? Right. And he said, that's the difference between you guys and everybody else because y'all are doing it every day as opposed to flying over the country and explaining to people how real estate works and they don't ever do real estate. He said, you guys are actually training on this is what it looks like. This is what it smells like. This is how it feels. This is how to do the steps in order to, to build your wealth and income through real estate. And so... <clears throat> That was my rant yesterday. You don't need another coach. You don't need another weekend boot camp on whatever. You need real practical training. <clears throat> One of the things I said in that video, and I don't know if this is good for the radio, but I'm going to say it anyways. One minute. I firmly believe that some people sabotage their success because failure keeps them accountable. So we just had a, a, a comment on Facebook. Somebody yeah. said, at the end of the day, you've got to want it bad enough. Mm -hmm. And here's what I would say is that's a cliche. The problem with that phrase is wanting it is not enough. Mm. Because you really have to put activity. Everybody wants really badly a six-pack ab, right? Yeah. But without the activity that it mm -hmm. takes, and it's not just one thing. You can't just do sit-ups. Because you know right. what, if you're eating wrong and you're doing sit-ups, you it's do not. not you do not get. So it's yeah. it's really it's wanting it enough mm -hmm. to be disciplined to learn the strategy and then execute the plan. That's that's, right. that's so wanting. I mean, there's there's so many people that want to be successful. I mean, if you were to do a survey across the city, hey, do you want to be successful? I mean, everybody, yeah. yeah, I want that really bad. Yeah, man, I'm gonna, but. How many people really do it? Let me give you this before we go to break. I say this at the weekend retreat. Profit is a discipline. Yes. We get back from the break. We're going to talk more about it's Jason Bible, Tom Perry, Right Path Real Estate. Mike's off. Why is my chair... <clears throat> why is this chair lower than that one? I think this one's set on your your level here. Yeah. Hey, you want to swap chairs with me? Yeah. Does it not have the little deal? It does, but it won't go up. Noble Mortgage yeah. is a full service mortgage yeah. company. That's what happens when we get these cheap chairs? I know, right? Yeah. These are not cheap chairs. I know. But we got them for a real good price. We did. Absolutely. Oh yeah. That's completely. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. It does feel better. I like that. I felt a little. Yeah. Wasn't working for me. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's much better. Documentation loans for both residential and. We used to do base camp in my office uh -huh. a certain client of ours would steal my chair from my desk let's say no because he's like i hate those other chairs at your conference table so that's fine problem is it would take me five minutes to readjust the thing that's noblemoney.com our team has over 50 years experience in the mortgage industry call us today 713-680-8100 or visit us on the web noblemoney.com noblemoney.com so daniel you'll have to school us on the jeep do you order do you order the stickers through them did you know that there are How does all that that whole process work? Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure Daniel's going to bring the Jeep to uh, to the event tonight, right? Because he he helps with our with our booth at at the event tonight. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, I want to be able to see that. I still haven't seen Valley. I mean, I see Valleys in the parking lot, and I walk by it. And I can just smell the new on it. It's awesome. Do you know this guy? Uh, yeah. He, okay. Sure looks familiar. He just sent um. To fund real estate deals all over the country. Yeah. We don't yeah. sell any investments or yeah, give she's advice. A awesome However, real estate we do agent. hold free networking broker. events, or broker, weekly yeah. educational classes, and free consultations with an IRA specialist. So last night I'm looking at Jeeps. Visit our website <coughs> I was looking at the, uh, the SRT8. Oh, oh yeah. It's like 500 five something five horsepower. Yeah. Like, it'd be a blast. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Gets about six miles a gallon. Right. In the US. Call Quest IRA. How many? At one eight five five. It was you, me, Jamie, 
Kara, Mark, and Will. That was yeah, six of us. Yeah. You rely on your property inspector to determine the current condition of the home and your potential return on investment. Principal Inspections was founded by investor Jeremy Humphrey. Ah, uh, or into the back now. office. So I'm wondering, you, because I want to, truth be told, you I haven't... I haven't decided what color I want yet, and, and I wonder if we can get the decal, like the uh, the CAD drawings or whatever they call them for the decals, and get them custom made here. He started principal inspections for investors because, as an investor himself, he experienced the need for fast quality inspections with information directly pertaining to property condition and potential resale value. Principal inspections will save you time and money. <laughs> Call Principal Inspections, 832-684-5516. That's 832-684-5516. Or go online to principalinspections.com. That's principalinspections.com. License number 21264. <laughs> Are you looking for an investor-friendly general contractor for One your minute. investment property? Then call Fast Track Remodeling at 832-742-9992. Or reach us on the web at FastTrackRemodeling.com. Fast Track Remodeling specializes in turnkey remodeling of single-family investment properties. I've forgotten Whether how much I like this. I think it's called rehab, Heptatic. Mm, yeah, touch yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Typing. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. With Just that little feedback. It's really cool. Process. Yeah, I've turned mine off. Six years, <laughs> I, I like it. But what I like is that you can, projects. if you like it, you can have it on. And if you don't, you can turn it off. You can turn it off. So you got into developer mode, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So so back, you know, when I first started using Samsung phones, I used to cook my own ROMs. I mean, I was really, and it, who has the time for that now? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you could you could actually you know crack the phone and yeah, and it was relatively easy to do. It's not yeah, it's no. not it's not like iPhone where they again that's yeah they come in black, white, and silver. Yeah. Or reach us on the web. So I'm debating, Daniel. I might do a ooh that I forgot Andy. He can do something for us. Oh, sorry. Doing radio show. <laughs> oh, with your shirt. That's that's why I wore the shirt today. <laughs> You're right, stand by. Stand by. Hot mics. Welcome to the show. Well, actually, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Profit is a discipline. Yes. When people are not profitable, when they're not building income and wealth in real estate, is because they lack discipline. In fact, if you watch, now I'm not a I don't watch those shows, Tom, and it's not because I, I don't like them. I just I haven't sat down and watched them, but like The Prophet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and it sounds like The Prophet much more than Shark Tank, where he goes in and is like, this is all a mess. Yeah. I'm firing all you people. We're bringing this guy in. We're doing this. And it's a discipline, yeah, right? It's a, he has a people, process, and systems, right? So, yeah. yeah. It, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, however, part of your discipline is is in measuring the things that matter. If I'm trying to get fit, and this is a perfect discussion here November 15th as we're going into the new year, if I want to get fit, I know it's diet and exercise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's the first thing they tell you? In fact, there's a, a ton of studies out there about this. The first thing they tell you to do is what? Track what you eat. It's that simple. In real estate, it's no different because... By the simple action of tracking what you're eating, you will already impact the result. It's amazing how that works. Because once you start tracking, you go, oh, wow. Uh, I know I'm not supposed to have 5,000 calories a day. Even if I don't know what I'm supposed to have, <laughs> yeah. it's not supposed to be that many. 5,000 bad. 5,000 bad. <laughs> Unless you're a top <clears throat> athlete. Yeah. yeah. It needs to be less than that. So in real estate, it's no different. And when folks sign up for all these real estate classes, the first question you should ask is, hey, what do you do? Do you really do it? Second question is, how do you measure it? And measure it is not how much money you make on a deal. That's a result. We're not really looking at measuring the result. We're measuring our actions to get to the result. That's the trick in any business. And I'll tell you, I did that for 15 years, and I flew all around the country speaking in front of different groups in the risk management, health, and safety world, teaching that. Yes. Because that is so critical, just the measuring. And that's that old classic, uh, classic saying, I can't remember who said it, what gets measured gets managed. Conversely, if you're not measuring it, yay managing. It's that simple. 
Well, you have no way of knowing if you're improving or not because your your mind will play tricks. Mm-hmm. Uh, so spent some time at the Galveston Beach House with my daughter, and, mm-hmm. and on Netflix there's this series uh, called uh, Brain Games, mm. and it's it's really it's it's on the Discovery Channel, but it's it's on Netflix also, mm-hmm. and it's and it talks about all the tricks that your brain plays on itself mm-hmm. in terms of memory and cognition, and and in, and then how your eyes work. Yeah, um, y- you know, it's like. A lot of times, there's optical illusions that you think there's movement on, mm-hmm. and and uh, and and, bec- and it's it's a fascinating show. Just and if you if you're into that kind of stuff, it's fascinating. And if you're not measuring it, then you'll go, oh yeah, you know, I don't think I'm really getting any stronger. You know, last time I had a personal trainer, mm-hmm. you know, I was using uh, Scott, and in you know, every day you show up with your book, and he mm-hmm. he's got like a little uh, spiral mm-hmm. bound yep. book. That you know when you you just like you don't do the same exercises you know every single like I was going to him three t- three times a week right mm-hmm. so it's Monday Wednesday Friday and then you know you go on Monday let's say you're doing chest well you may not do chest until like Friday it's like yeah. you know four days later well you, don't, you if you, that's you're not going to remember exactly yeah. the weights that you use and you don't realize you look at that and you go wait I'm lifting twenty pounds more than I was last time. Yeah. Now you get a chance to measure, and you you can get excited about, hey, I'm accomplishing something. Mm -hmm. But if you weren't keeping score like that, you go... Well, I'm not really sure, and you know, I feel like I'm getting stronger, but maybe I'm not. Yeah, I don't know. and feelings can influence. You know, feelings always follow actions. It's not mm-hmm. the other way around. If you're chasing your feelings and deciding what you want to do based on your feelings, it's gonna be a really messed up life. Yeah. Well, it's pretty easy to figure out what your net worth is when it's on an Excel spreadsheet. Yes. I need this many. You and I are talking about some, we were yeah. building a model and looking at some different things. And you start looking at these things. We do this, we get this result. We do that, we get this result. I mean, it's 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 formulaic, right? Right. I mean, so going to, an, and here's the problem. Going to another class is not going to solve that problem. Well, with exception to our weekend retreat. Going to a, ha- a class on how to wholesale houses is not going to fix that. Going to a, a, a weekend retreat on how to flip houses is not going to solve that. There's only four ways to make money in real estate. And those four ways directly relate to whether or not you're building income and wealth. That's why we just don't teach one way to do real estate. That's why we don't ever want to do that. Don't ever go to one of these classes on, well, this is how you wholesale a deal. That's, no, that's of no value to you. Correct. You need to back into what are my goals? I want to retire in five years with five thousand dollars a month in passive income from rental properties. Great. Now let's build a program for you to do that. Well, the the issue is is that most people come into real estate education with the goal of I want my life to be different. That's a li- little bit like saying, Hey, I want to go on a vacation. Mm-hmm. Where do you want to go? Anywhere but Houston. Yeah. But that's not a destination. So you've got to, like, you know, you and I are, are, are good at building a mathematical model of a business at the front end when we mm-hmm. start it. And, and we basically, we, you have to make some assumptions on the front end, and then you tweak it along as you go so that you can know that, hey, if, if you know, like we projected that it was going to take three to $5,000 of marketing mm-hmm. dollars to be able to get a deal, mm-hmm. right? So we didn't quit after we spent $20,000 mm-hmm. and didn't get a deal because what we recognize is there's a lag in most businesses from the time you start something till the, you're, it takes more momentum, more energy and effort to start momentum than it takes to maintain that momentum. So as you're starting, you have to recognize, now every business is like that. I mean, Exxon didn't get to where it is today you know, in the very beginning, right? So they had to have a business model. So are you... Can you mathematically model what it is that you're wanting to do? So many, you watch the TV shows about flipping houses and things like that. You know, they show, oh, we bought the house for, you know, Mm $800,000 and we put, you know, $200,000 in the rehab. So we're in it for a million. We sold it for 1.2. We made $200,000. Yeah, right. the trouble is, is that's not the correct mathematical mm-hmm. model. If you tried to duplicate that as a business, you would fail miserably mm-hmm. because they're not taking out, you know, what's your closing cost when you sell the property? What's your marketing cost to get the property? You know, and, and in some cases, well, they're buying at auction, so there is no marketing cost right. to get it. But there's other costs that are in what's your holding cost, your cost of money. <clears throat> your, well, I'm using my own money, so there's no cost of money. Well, 
yeah, what's the opportunity cost lost in? I mean, if you're putting your own money in there, you should be make your money should be making money because mm-hmm. if it wasn't in that deal, I promise you, you could probably lend it out to someone. You could lend it to us and make an interest rate. So why are you putting your own money in a deal? I'll give you the classic example. I had a, a young couple that that approached me. I think it was at the Fort Bend Rio one night speaking there, and a young couple came up and said, "Hey, Jason, we're in real estate, and we're just." Man, I just, it, they were like, "Hey, can you talk just just the Give us him a and, secret?" Him and his, well, no, hey. it was him and his wife, and it was me. And he said, "Hey, can we kind of talk privately?" I said, "Yeah, that's fine." So he said, um, "We're just we don't know if real estate's for us." Yeah. And I said, "You know, it's okay if it's not. It's for everybody. Hey, working right? out's not for everybody." Yeah, <clears throat> and so I said, "Why do you think that is?" Well, we've been making offers. We just hadn't bought a house yet. And I said, "Well, take me through some of the offers. How many offers did you make?" Well, we've made five. <laughs> oh, jeez. <clears throat> I said, so let me get this straight. You've made five offers, and you're not, and you're ready to quit. Yeah. Well, I'm just not sure this is for us. And what you don't, what you realize is that, and they went through all the different real estate education companies they'd written checks to, and what you realize is nobody gave them the metrics to track. Like, and I, and I said, they said five houses, and I tried not to laugh. Or five offers, I tried not to laugh. And they said, and they kind of looked at me and were like, what, what's so funny? I said, it might take you thirty or forty. Yeah. And they said, oh, do you really, I mean, are there things we're doing wrong? I said, I can guarantee you there are things yeah, you're right, doing wrong yes. and how you're making those offers yeah. and marketing and all that other stuff. But You're not a real estate expert after making only five offers. Right, right? but here's what I can tell you. Five offers isn't enough. I do know that. Just based off nothing else you've told me about your situation, marketing, sales, skill set, here's what I can tell you. Five offers ain't enough. Now, when you do 20, 30, 40, 50 offers and we're still not buying some houses, that's a whole separate discussion. But I can tell you just based off what I know, those aren't enough offers. So how do I know that? It's simple because we built a model that we know we do these, these activities, we are going to end up with a house. Statistically, and I talked about this in my rant video, statistically, if you knock on enough doors, yeah. you will end up buying a house. I mean, it is, it is impossible with the worst... Sales and marketing skill set. If you do something long enough, a ratio will appear. It may take you 10,000 doors to knock on. Well, you might buy a house, but eventually you will get one. <laughs> correct. That's, well, here, in most things in life, the more you do something, the better you get, right? Mm-hmm. And however, you know, everybody says, well, practice makes, you know, pr- practice makes perfect, right? One minute. And, uh, and, and it's, it's, that's not necessarily true. <clears throat> that's not it. true. It's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, practice makes permanent. Right, so that's a you, better way to put it. Are, yeah. are you practicing the right thing? I mean, ask ask any bad golfer. I mean, they mm-hmm. can they can get out there and practice and hit a bunch of balls, but if they don't know, if they don't have a trainer yep. saying no, this is what you're doing incorrectly. I mean, because there's a setup and there's a grip and there's and then what most people do is that they have one swing flaw, right? And then they'll they'll adjust yeah, they overcorrect or they, they just yeah co- correct. And so so you know, next thing you know is because they're slicing rather than fixing the slice based on their swing pattern. Path, what they do is they close the club face, mm-hmm. or or they do something funky with their hips, or something. I mean, it's just like it's like no, no, no. You've you've got to first learn what's the right way to do this, mm-hmm. and then when you practice that, then you're going to get the yeah. results that you're looking for long term. I mean, I, I'm not a great golfer, but I've taken some lessons. I have custom custom fitted clubs. And and all you know, so your even your tools that makes a difference. Mm-hmm. Are you using the right tools? Yep. And so, are you measuring? I mean, if you just go out there and bang a hundred balls, and problem is, most people what do they do first? They they pull out the driver, right? They and it's like, yeah. no, you don't. That's not. If you go watch a professional golfer, no professional golfer starts with the driver. Mm-mm. They what they always pull their 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 wedges out yep. first. They start with like a like a half swing, and then they build up to like a two thirds or a three quarter swing, and then they they get into a full swing. And there's there's a methodology. A, so why wouldn't you want to learn it the way that the pros do it? I mean, one of the things that we ask people at our weekend retreat is, hey, if you could go back and join us when we got started, would you want to throw the same amount of money that we threw into it and just take this ride with us? I hear the music in the background. We're going to continue this on the other side of the break. <laughs> right Path Real Estate Radio. Mike's off. Time is money in a real estate deal. If your insurance company is slow or non-responsive, you could lose a deal like that. You need a quick turnaround on quotes or binders? The agency for that is Benchmark Insurance Group of Texas. The team at Benchmark understands the investor mindset. 
They know what you need and when you need it. We're here for you. Are you a rehabber, wholesaler, buy and hold or flipper? Okay. Bundling your properties on a single. What do you want to meet? Uh, I sent her a note. Say Carabas. Okay, that's fine. For over ten years, and we insure over thirty thousand properties. Contact Benchmark about our exclusive investor package. Oh, Call us and let us show you what we can do for you at 281-569-4353. That's 281-569-4353. <clears throat> or online at benchmarkbroker.com. Man, these guys Benchmark are pumped Broker. up. That's 281-569-4353. I just got another uh, text from Derek. Or oh, yeah. At benchmarkbroker.com. It's the same conversation I had with Rich last night. It's like uh, I'm telling you guys, it just or sheet <coughs> coming apart. Then there is five years between you and I. <coughs> in the Houston area, five years of real estate experience, and we buy easily. Pretty soon, we started doing ten houses a month, which is the equivalent of one year's worth of experience, right? Yes, we have like sixty years worth of real estate experience, right? And not, when I share business, stuff like with Derek and Rich and them about what we're doing on that financial work. services so side, I'm like, man, if, if I knew then what I knew now, like our next five years are going to look ridiculous. Each of our files is reviewed by a licensed engineer. Remember to check before ever repair. Call 346-702-3825. That's 346-702-3825. Or you can reach us online at foundationcheck.com. That's foundationcheck.com. Are small returns getting in the way of your retirement plans? Why settle for mediocre results? There's a better place to invest. The experts agree. Single family real estate is one of the best investments you can make. Find out how JB Fund Services offers a 9% preferred return and up to a 13% waterfall. Call us today at 281-9500. Catherine's going to be in studio Friday. That's going to be fun. Website. JB Fund Services. We're talking about how her and That's Robert saved money, made money, the whole shoot and match. Yeah. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait. <clears throat> Are you expecting to close accurately, on time, and with lots of communication on your home purchase? You've come to the right place. I'm Jennifer Hernandez, Senior Loan Officer with Legacy Mutual Mortgage. Our goal is to give our borrowers and referral partners an amazing experience Dude, during the loan process. I like that. My team yeah, believes in post. putting people and yeah. culture before results. Our company concentrates on building those teams who operate with structure, process, and recognition for going the extra mile for you. This way, we have the energy to make this your best home purchase ever. Give us a call today to find out the simple steps to get started. One I'm minute. Jennifer Hernandez, the Hernandez team at Legacy Mutual Mortgage. Jennifer.LegacyMutual.com I'm, I'm trying to get together with him and <coughs> probably him and Rich next week to chat. Again, Jennifer.LegacyMutual.com We can't wait to consult with you soon. NMLS 514497 Equal housing opportunity lender. Oh, dude, NMLS look at this. You found or inherited a great That's awesome. Property. Problem is, you don't know how much it's worth or more importantly... No kidding. I didn't know they knew each other. Huh. This is exactly Interesting. Why we started Next Gen Appraisal. Next Gen is a group of appraisers specializing in investment real estate. We understand that investors My are fantasy football teams are just looking rough. It's been a rough season. Oh, you know what? I'm kind of done with 2017. Truth be told, it was a rough 2017. I'm ready for 2018. Well, rough in the sense that we had a lot of moving parts yeah. in, in all of the different yeah. businesses. Oh, and so, yeah. 2018 is going to be Or look for us on Facebook Live at facebook.com slash right path real estate. Hot mics. Welcome back. Welcome back. Jason Bible, Tom Perry, right path real estate. You know, here's what I'll tell you guys. It's you need practical real estate training. You need to how how to do this boots on the ground. They're, you know, from somebody who's actually doing it every day. You don't need a coach. You don't need a mentor, which I think mentor in how it's how it's used in real estate doesn't even make sense. Like we have mentors, but they're not hand holding us in real estate. No. You ping a mentor for Hey, I've got this really big problem. I'm thinking about doing this. And they say, hey, based on my experience, 
of you know 10, 20, 30 years. We don't we don't have mentors less than twenty years experience. They say, hey, do this, this, and this. Well, well here, here's these what issues. happens is is you you have a mentor. It's not really about age. You know, uh, about fifteen years ago, I had a mentor I met with every Friday, mm-hmm. and you know, he's just you know the kind of person that 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 you know I look up to, right, right. as a human being. And so I'd go and sit and talk with him, and he would just you know share some of his wisdom, right? Because mm-hmm. that's really what you're yeah, looking that's for. What you're looking, you're, for. you're yeah. looking for wisdom. And, you know, so like, you know, guy that we've reached, you know, that has become a mentor just recently, mm-hmm. and he probably doesn't even realize that we are calling him one of our mentors, right? Because that's, that's not that important. Yeah. But, but the guy, you know, he built a billion dollar yeah. business. Over 20 years, right? Yeah, right. I mean, yeah. yeah. And, and it's the same kind of guy where it's like, hey, look, <clears throat> they can look at our business thing and he could say, do this, this, and this. If you guys want to do this, right? There's a lot of discussion back and forth. And and that's what most that's not what most real estate investors need. Correct. Because a mentor is there for when you're already up and running, you're building, you know, you're thinking about expanding or growing into you need a trainer when you're first starting out. Yes. You need the old school trainer. Hey, look, we're doing fifty push ups on, you know, every other day. How come you need to do your fifty push ups? Well, why do I have to do 50 push-ups? Well, because this is the goal we're trying to get to. And I know if we do this many push-ups, we eat this kind of food, we're going to get to that goal. That's what you need. You need the practical, you need to do this, and then you need to be held accountable to it. Well, the other thing is, is that depending on the level that you're trying to get to, like I know your boys have taken swimming lessons before, right? Oh, yeah. They're both on the team. Right. So the question is, is that when you're first getting started, do you need Michael Phelps's trainer to no. be your trainer when you've got a seven-year-old boy jumping in the pool for the very first no. time trying to prove a stroke, right? No. So you don't typically come to someone that is at that level mm-hmm. of trainer. You know, what, what do you think Michael Phelps's trainer cost an hour? Oh, it's got to be ridiculous. <laughs> More than 50 bucks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's probably, I bet he's a $1,000 an hour guy. Yeah, so so the same thing, you know, if you've got, you know, a young kid that wants to, you know, we've got one of our uh, people that work for us, that their son wants to learn how to play the violin. And I think, you know, if you're wanting to learn how to play the violin, there's a certain fingering that you have to learn mm-hmm. first and the, the stroke of the bow and all those kind of things. You learn first, you know, f- you know, one of the first things that you learn is the parts of the violin. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah you, you how gotta, to hold the violin. Yeah, you got to right? learn the vocabulary. You, mm-hmm. you know, you don't, you don't need somebody that is a virtuoso yeah. and, you know, that's training. You, you don't need the conductor of the Houston Symphony yeah. that's, you know, teaching you how to play the violin, right? Yeah. So. So there's different levels based on where you're trying to get to. But the basics and the fundamentals are the same. The problem is, is that when you're learning how to play the violin from someone that doesn't play the violin. That's right. I mean, that's that's where you run into a problem. Or <clears throat> or hasn't or they're fifty years old and haven't played the violin since high school. Yeah. It's like, hey, um, there are probably some newer techniques here. Yeah, yeah. Things have changed. Yeah, the, you know. Yeah, the way that you learn things has. I, I, I noticed, like when my daughter, she's learning how to play the flute, mm-hmm. and when she started in sixth grade, the way they started her out, I thought was fascinating. You know, I started out in orchestras, learning how to play the violin, and. Um, not I don't play it today or anything like that, but they started out. You had the entire orchestra together. You had the violins, you had the violas, you had the cellos, you had the 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 bass. Oh, but that sounded like a train wreck. It, it did. It was it was it was horrible. I mean, imagine a bunch of sixth graders. Nobody knows yeah. how to play. And so the guy that's the conductor of the orchestra, he's sitting there trying to teach everybody at once. I mean, there's probably you know, 10 or 15 kids in every section. Mm. So there's like 60 kids trying to learn <laughs> each of their individual instruments. So we, we got almost no one. Well, my daughter, here it is, you know, a few years later. Yeah, a couple right? years later. She's trying to learn the flute. Every time she goes to, she's not in with the whole band of flutes and, <clears throat> and trumpet players and mm-hmm. trombones. Guess what? She's got a class of nothing but flute players. Mm. So the, she spends the entire class Five days a week for an hour, that's five hours every week learning how to play just the flute mm-hmm. with other flute players only. And I'm like, that's brilliant. So by the time she gets to seventh grade, I mean, I listen to her playing the flute. I'm like, you've been playing how long? Yeah, that's cool. It's like she has got this accelerated pace of learning 
but she's only learning from a flute instructor. She's not l- learning from the guy that's that runs the whole band. And, mm-hmm. and so I think, you know what, that's really what having a trainer is all about, is are you doing the right things at the right time? Because everybody's going to get, even when you first get started, you know, because, you know, we've had students that have come through. Like, when I first got started in, in, in our business, you know, mm-hmm. I have, you know, I had no experience buying houses, mm-hmm. but I have lots of experience in sales. Right, right. So, and most of that transfers over, but there's a lot of people that get into this, and, you know, like the people you're talking about, they've made five offers. And how much sales training do they actually have? Because yeah. that is a skill set. Now, yeah. do you have to know, I mean, I feel like I'm one of those guys that can sell almost anything. I mean, I've got such well, you got a, a PhD in sales. Uh, <laughs> it's not necessary to buy houses, but it's, it's not, enough experience, right? W- correct. But you can take all of that and just learn the part that applies to houses. So there's an accelerated learning curve when you have coaches that understand exactly where you are stuck and how to get you unstuck there. So You know what's fascinating about that? Yeah, Daniel, is, 2018 will be epic. Yeah, yes. What, what's amazing about that is <laughs> when you sit down with someone who is a true tactician, a yes. real expert, and they say, do this, this, and this. And whenever I sit down well, with somebody... Well, I don't know, Jason. What if that doesn't work? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this guy the other night was telling me postcards don't work, and I just... I was about four beers in, and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. This is the most Hey, the story thing. has changed. When I heard the story yesterday, was, you were six beers in. <laughs> that was another guy that came <laughs> okay, in later, right? right? All right. So, uh, in any case... <clears throat> that, is this the guy that you just said, hey, why are you here? <laughs> yeah, I did. I'm like, what are you doing here, man? <laughs> this is not... You need to go back to the guru that you are with, because uh, I, I can't help you. He Maybe he can help you. But... Uh, when you sit down with someone who is a true expert in what they do, and they say, hey, Jason, I'm trying to do X, and I'll say, do these three things, and they look at you like, really? It can't like, be that simple. Can't, yes. We buy a couple hundred houses a year. I'm telling you, it's those three things. Well, here's the problem, though, that people think that if they do those three things, that that's going to get them to where you are. Oh, you're like, no, no, no. That's but, just but no, next no, no. step. Those are the ne- yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are the next three things. That focus on these three things yes. before you focus on anything else because these three things are preventing you from getting like your first four or five deals, yeah. right? That's Now, getting four or five deals is not what's going to... And that knowledge on how to get four or five deals is not going to get you to you know 25 deals in right. a year. And that's not going to get you to 100. But you can't focus on the 20 things that you need to know. Focus on these three things. Yeah. Become a master at those. It's a little bit like... I, I love the Karate Kid movie, mm-hmm. right? It's it's the wax on wax off. You yeah. know, he wasn't teaching him karate. He was teaching him how to paint the fence. Right. He was teaching him how to wax on and then take the wax. Put the wax on the car. Take the wax off the car. But th- he was only trying to teach him like two or three moves. That's yeah. all he could handle at that That's time. Right. And do that till it hurts. Well, he's teaching him two things. One is he's teaching the handful of techniques that are the foundation Correct. to success. Correct. But then he's also doing one other thing. He's teaching discipline. Yes. I get so many, and this is how real and estate... And that was could, one of the great things that was great yeah. about the movie, because that's the area that he was bucking, right? Right, yeah. Because the student couldn't see what the master's end goal was, mm-hmm. then the student was bucking the process. Yeah. And because he's like, well, I don't see the point of this. I want to learn karate, and you're just teaching me wax on and wax off and paint the fence and blah, blah, blah. It's like, look, it doesn't... You, the master knows what he's doing. Yeah. Just trust the master. Learn these three things, so... It, it, this is no different than when someone says, well, Jason, I want to be a buy and hold, la- buy and hold landlord, but um, the guru told me that now's not, ta- not a good time to do that, so I need to wholesale and flip houses. Or I can't flip houses because the market's too tight, so I need to go into owner finance. I'm like, no, what you're telling me is you are undisciplined in the area in which you would want to invest. And these real estate educators prey on people like that. Here's my new class to teach you all about owner fund. Here's the new secret technique. Guess what? There ain't no new secret technique to wax on, wax off. Nope. There's no secret technique to paint the fence. There's no secret technique to doing the push-up. There's just not. Yeah, there's a right way to do the push-up, and there's a wrong way. That's it. Yeah, there's a lot of wrong ways. There's a lot of wrong ways. There's a lot of wrong ways. But and, and then you, you know what? There's, the there's, there's modifications to the push up mm-hmm. for if you can't do a full blown push up, right. right? Yeah, right. But the but I'll tell you at the end of the day, 
you still got to eat right and work out. That's the only way to build a bit. You still got to have the discipline. All right, we're going to a break. Yeah, we will head to the breaks. Jason Bible, Tom Perry, Right Path Real Estate. Mike's off. Oh, Daniel, that's great. That is a great analogy. Like you walk into the dealership. Well, I need to know how to change the oil on all these cars. Why? Yeah. A, you're not going to do it. B, they're all different. Yeah. So who cares? Noble Mortgage has been helping investors just like you. Whether rehabbing houses, buying your first home, rental, or commercial property, <clears throat> Noble Mortgage offers up to 100% financing. Call Noble Mortgage at 713-680-8100 or visit noblemoney.com. That's noblemoney.com. I can't remember the last time I changed my own Time oil. is money in a real estate deal. It's been a while. If your company is slow or non-responsive, you could lose a deal like that. I'm you sure I've changed my own oil at least once, but I can't remember when. I used to work on cars all the time. Yeah. Probably the last one I we didn't. did was when we built that. It's there for you. B18, uh, put a B18 LS uh, tranny into a Honda Civic. Because I was always worried taking it to the Honda. You put a tranny in a Honda Civic tranny, yeah. <laughs> There's a great picture somewhere when all that crazy stuff, the yeah. whole bathroom thing was going on. <laughs> right, uh-huh. Somebody took a, uh, is it a C5 tranny? It's a, it's a um, whatever the, or Can maybe we say T6. that on the radio? We can't. It's a T... <laughs> T6 tranny out of a, a sh- which is a Chevy tranny, and they put it into a bathroom. They said, I found a tranny in the in the men's restroom. <laughs> or in the women's restroom. Took a picture of it with the transmission. It was hilarious. Call 346-702-3825, or you can reach us online at foundationcheck.com. Are you looking for an investor-friendly general contractor for your investment property? Then call Fast Track Remodeling at 832 832- Seven four two ninety nine ninety two, or reach us on the web at FastTrackRemodeling.com. Fast Track Remodeling specializes in turnkey remodeling of single-family investment properties, whether it's a flip, rehab, or a rental rehab. No more managing it yourself. No more doing the work yourself. Fast Track Remodeling really does manage it all. So give us a call today at 832-742-9992. Real estate investors, if you're not familiar with Quest IRA, let me tell you what you're missing. We've got free weekly education. Yep, that's classes, 26, bro. Opportunities and the ability to tap into <laughs> What did just 25 a minute ago? <laughs> real estate investing deal. Yeah. Come by our office. Uh, this is just starting, man. It's just starting. If you guys are interested in our financial services company, send Veronica an email support at Right Path Real Estate and just sign up. Just sign up. We've signed up. What do you think on our side? I need to log out of 26, 28 people just, I mean, in the last week? Is it working? Well, I thought so. No? Their site's been, there's so many signups, I bet, going Uh, on. Yeah, waiting. There it is. There we go. Okay, so if I want to. Yeah, now you can log in, I guess. I'm going to try. As a real estate investor, oh, you rely on your property. Seriously, guys, just sign up. The current yeah. condition of the home and your potential no. LLC. They'll do LLC formations. They'll do your taxes. They've got apps for all this stuff where you can uh, manage all your receipts. It's also got a GPS in there so you can categorize all your uh, uh, all of your mileage. Uh, I think it's a couple hundred bucks to s- do what? Oh, yeah. A uh, couple hundred bucks to sign up, 350 four, I don't know. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> 350 400 bucks. And then it's $125 a month. Refer three people, it's $25 a month. Refer 12, they'll pay for a Jeep. $500 a month Jeep payment. But this is probably not for you guys. This doesn't sound like a good deal. It's a fantastic company, it really is. We got to spend a lot of time with the CEO and really cool organization. Okay. How many? 20? Uh, five. Five, six. This investment is offered to accredited investors. This is Business 1110. Call Jason or Tom at 713-785-1817. Loving this battery life. Or look for us on Facebook Live at facebook.com slash Right Path Real Estate. Hot mics. Welcome back. Jason Bible, Tom Perry, Right Path Real Estate. We teach practical real estate investing <clears throat> for income and wealth. If you want to build an income today, great. 
maybe leave your corporate job, do real estate full time. If you want to build wealth, if you're one of those folks like me who's worried about saving two, three million dollars just so you could have a half decent retirement, you know, there are easier ways to do this, there are better ways to do it. And real estate is one of those venues. Highly recommend you come to one of our events. Weekend retreat is this weekend. Thursday, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You can go to rightpathrealestate.com. We've sold out a VIP. General admission is available. Um, but that's that's it. So get, just go to Right Path Real Estate, sign up there. Uh, next event, I believe, is the 17th or 18th of November. Um, no, that's not right. It's got to be the week after Thanksgiving, right? Like the 20th. So uh, that's when you can see us there. Uh, but yeah, it's it's how to build income and wealth. It's how to save for retirement. It's how to build a legacy. So many folks talk about building a legacy. And that legacy comes in twofold. It's not just handing your family a bunch of cash flowing properties. It's teaching your family, especially your, your kids, how to build an enduring enterprise, how to build a business for themselves. And we're not talking about hundreds of houses a year. We got a lot of clients, got a lot of students. They don't want to buy 100 houses a year. They want to build, they want to buy five or 10 or 20 or three and do three houses a year for the next 10 years. And that's what we teach. We teach how to work with real estate agents and wholesalers and real estate investors and homeowners to buy those houses, fix them up, and either sell them on the retail market or lease them out or be the bank in some of these transactions. It's all about building income and wealth. That's that's what we're doing here. That, Any other parting words, Tom? No. Uh, go to rightpathrealestate.com. Sign up for the weekend retreat. You know, I don't know why anybody that wants to get started in real estate would not want to learn from people that have done as many houses as we've done. Mm -hmm. You know, you're, you're going to learn great information. You're going to learn the eight modules that we teach. You, we've really broken it down into eight modules. It's not, you know, 37 different ways to buy a house. We buy the house the same way every single time. We've got one way to buy a house. We've got, you know, a, a few different marketing strategies, but really, it's it's a very simple, simple, duplicatable process. And the people that execute, it's it's interesting because you know the people that do what we tell them to do, they're getting results. The people that stray from that, they're they're One struggling. Minute. My favorite <coughs> students are the ones that sit down with us and they on that Monday or Tuesday after the weekend retreat, they just look at us and go, "I'm going to do exactly what you tell me to do." Yeah, perfect. Right. Do this, this, and this. And oh, is that really going to work? I said. Well, you can question, but I'll tell you, <laughs> just go do it. And they start doing, and they start buying houses. They start buying a lot of houses. Um, and then they start building a business. They start building a brand. Seconds. They start building their wealth and income with real estate. Go to rightpathrealestate.com. Thanks for listening, guys. Tom will be on the radio show tomorrow. Build your team Thursday. <clears throat> Thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for listening. We've got a busy day today. Yeah. See you all at the event tonight. Mike's off, guys. Have a good one. All right, thanks. Great. Bye. Yeah, bye. So last night, holding kill the kill the book of faces.